It's April, just like me, family. And if you have a kid in third through 12th grade, you know what that means. It's testing season. Love them or hate them, every school across the country is gearing up for standardized testing season. Since they're not going away anytime soon, we thought this month we would share some tips to make sure your child is ready. One of my biggest pet peeves with standardized testing is the language that they use. If I had a dollar for every time a kid raised their hand and said, I don't understand what they're asking, I could retire. I would then look at the test, explain what the question was asking using language that the student could understand, and then they were good to go. From a regulation standpoint, what I did was borderline not allowed. Regulations say you're not supposed to offer any clarification on the test. So the best thing you can do for your students is to make sure that they understand the language they're going to see ahead of time. Here are a few of the terms that they are likely to see on the standardized test. Compare, which means how are they alike? Contrast, which means how are they different? Infer, which means to make a guess based on evidence. And analyze, which means how do these texts support the main idea? Review these and other commonly used testing vocabulary and your child will be in great shape. And remember, if I can see it, I can achieve it.